Nothing puts a stop to your morning commute more than a flat tire. I'm gonna show you how to swap it out for your spare and get you back on the road in no time. I'm Sergio Lugo, and this is Cobalt in the Garage. For this repair, we'll need a jack, a lug wrench, two optional tools, an impact wrench, and a torque wrench, and of course, a spare tire. Let's get started. Riding over a nail like this one can leave you stranded, which can be a big problem, especially alongside the road. Luckily, your vehicle probably has a spare tire, along with all of the tools you'll need to swap it out, so you can drive yourself to a repair shop. The wheel is held in place by five lug nuts, which we'll need to remove and save. If you don't have a power tool, you can use a lug wrench included with your vehicle. You'll want to loosen the lug nuts first while the wheel is still on the ground. Using the lug wrench included with your car, just place it over the top and give it a firm counterclockwise shove to loosen the nuts. Now that the lug nuts are loosened, it's time to raise the vehicle. You should check the side of your jack to see its proper placement beneath the vehicle. So we're gonna put the jack under the vehicle to support and raise it. Every vehicle has a spot where you need to lift it from. It's important. On this vehicle, the lug wrench is also used to raise the jack, but you might want to check your jack or owner's manual as it may differ. After a few turns, the wheel is clearly lifted off the ground and able to spin freely. Now, it's time to remove the lug nuts. If you've already pre-loosened them with a manual lug wrench, simply unscrew by hand. Or if you're at home in your garage, you can do this with a power impact wrench outfitted with a lug wrench socket. With the nuts removed, the wheel slides right off. Now, it's time to attach the spare. Line up the holes in the center of the spare with the five bolts and screw back on the lug nuts just until they're hand tight. Now, lower the jack. Once on the ground, you can tighten the wheel with a lug wrench or your impact wrench if you're at home in your garage. If you're at home in your garage, there's an optional step you can take before hitting the road. If you want to make sure that the wheels are tight, you can use a torque wrench like this to tighten them to spec. First, I attach a three inch extension and the lug socket to the torque wrench so it fits on the lug nuts. The torque spec should be listed in your owner's manual. Simply adjust the torque wrench to the recommended setting Place it over one of the lug nuts and turn it clockwise until it clicks. And now you're good to drive with your spare. Well, now it's time to get the tire fixed. 